that four circle short work of yours and say that was so good. Oh, he's really, he's really just meat rotting here. I respect it, man. I don't really respect meat rotting in general, but I respect it here, man. It's good meat rotting. This is for heaven. Um... Your boy, uh, Joe Dio from Heaven, back with another video. And um, I'm probably gonna get this video done in one take. It probably won't happen because my fucking uh, neighbors up top are fucking bombs. Anyway, um, so I got to deal with that. If they make loud noise, I'll just cut and come back. But JoJo Lands, the ninth part of JoJo. I have done a video, I think it's just like the second chapter. Uh, I gotta just get back into the fucking flow of things, I'm sorry. Speaking of flow, mechanisms i think we're gonna see a little bit of the uh the new um fucking i don't even know what to call these like ethereal presences that we have there's the noises right there they don't do anything all fucking day i fucking hate them um but yeah the new presence that we have in jojo um i you know like like destiny or fate or whatever that you've had in the pe calamity that you've had in previous parts mechanisms so got a nice little shot of uh jodio here i pronounce it jodio um it might be jodio it might be we're gonna call him jodio <laughs> november rain uh let's get into it so, as i recall in the previous chapter we had uh dragona uh kind of squaring off with rohan kishibi 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 i never i've heard his last name pronounced but i've Rohan Kishibi. Um, and then we had the cat stand who had like the power to do some cat like shit. Uh, Rohan has read off both the um, muscle guy and dickhead. Uh, he's read off both of their like memories at this point. He hasn't yet touched Dragona. Uh, so we're going to go into it from there. It's kind of like kind of uh, Roman esque. Not Roman Roy, shout out Roman Roy. It's the house on road up the hill from the coffee farm. It's an emergency. It was a gang. Oh, he's calling the cops. They were behaving violently. Scissors, damn. He said they even have real weapons on them, bro. That's crazy. I'm going to capture you, too. <laughs> dude, dude, Rohan. <laughs> when Rohan is up, bro, this dude will fucking brag like nobody else. Like, he's just fucking ball tea bagging him uh, I think what dime's gonna fall out again and I don't, I don't think it's because of Rohan stand I think it's a cat stand based on the liquid shaking I'm assuming it's because of uh, our boy Jodia oh shit I wonder if there's some kind of stand that's making it where they can't steal I wonder if that's what's happening that they can't steal I don't know uh, you know, you like to guess the stance before you actually get the explanation of what's happening. But I'm going to take a, a, a gamble and just assume that, uh, god damn it, I wish I could do full screen. I'm going to piss me off at this point. Oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my god, go back, please. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um... I don't know if I like this better or if I like... I, we'll, we'll stop and stay with this. I guess a little bit more to look at. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's got to do something with the cat, I'm sure. I mean, it's still fucking stacked, dude. It came back. There's some kind of stealing, anti-stealing stand going on. I'm tying you up. <laughs> yeah, I think some kinky ass shit right here. Damn, Dragona, you went outside, huh? November rain, let's go. November rain against we got we got a fucking uh, Joe Star against a Rohan Kishibe. Kishibe. Kish the Kishi part I got right. I don't know the the bay. I don't know how the bay is pronounced. I don't know if it's B, Rohan Kishibe. I don't know. I can't get that right. But the Kishi part sounds right in my head. It's the, the B. I'm keeping on getting wrong. Um the November rain coming through, raining and pouring. I feel like Rohan's gonna like get invested into defeating uh Jodio. Inside, I expect you all to not only stick around, but actually come inside the house. 
the rain is from sustainability, isn't it? Dude, are you analyzing fucking uh, November rain? I can't wait to get like the background of, of uh, this Rohan. It may be an alter universe Rohan. That just like exactly looks like our Rohan. Oh, a mill dude. And he fell into the. Oh shit. The fucking goat, dude. I don't know if it milled it first. I think he might have just put a hole into it. It might have been mildew. But he put a hole into it. Um, and he kind of baited. Oh, this Jodio might be kind of smart. He baited Rohan to come into where the, the water was at. And uh, just kind of a little bit of slip there. That's crazy. This nigga is ruthless. He reminds me of Giorno a little bit, definitely. The thing is, I'm pretty sure that uh, Rohan might have got a little touch on, on Jodia. So it can be rain that has lots of weight after receiving some of the carbonated punch through the... Okay, so then Mildew, he just literally just like increased the, I guess, weight of the, the water. You know, I get off the hook, asshole. <laughs> He's a mangaka. <laughs> My man Rohan is staying alive because of his fucking, uh, his, uh, his status. You gotta respect it. Unfortunately, as a result, what's going to happen net to you next will be even more dangerous. Dragona Joestar, Paco Luberantes. Usagi Aloha Aloha God man I don't know fucking fucking Hawaiian the 15 year old Jodio Joe started being followed Hey don't you gotta make sure you listen to fucking Rohan Kishibi I think today's gonna be a great day that mangaka called the police I really I really like the the design of uh Jergonus like kind of suit there just a like big ass D with a dragon on it. <laughs> I think she has dr she. I think he has dreads too as well, kinda. He knows our name and try doing these too. We can't even near the airport. I couldn't steal I told you, I told you that you can't steal it. I am the JoJo Whisperer at this point. It's an anti-steal stand, it's justice. Justice. <laughs> Call him back, please. I refuse. <laughs> Is this gonna use like Jedi Force powers on this dude? I'm just gonna try to butter him up. <laughs> Let's go, Jodio. Something that came down from the heavens. Biscuit from heavens. There we go. That's the thumbnail. Just biscuits from heaven. They can, like, just more drop iPad without getting sued the hell by Apple. It's not the diamond that was the most valuable thing in here is these things. Is this, like, some derivative of fucking, like, rock human shit? Damn. Yo. <laughs> Shout out to Joestar ruining the shit that Rohan Kishibe uh, considers the most valuable. Yo, this dude's definitely Giorno adjacent. But he's got some, he's got some, uh... The thing is, like, the, the kind of mean, not, not mean-spirited, but, like, the sly shit that Giorno would do is very similar to the same shit that, uh... Jolene would do. So I think he's supposed to be an aggregate of some Jolene and Giorno qualities. But the problem is that there's kind of a... Uh, an overlap between those two characters. Uh, if you did like a Venn diagram, and so far we're just seeing like a lot of Giorno, I think, in in Jodio. But I think there's some some kind of uh, you know like young teen type assholery. Like I think Giorno was like kind of adult asshole, like just m kind of mean at some points. But like I think Jolene was like. You know, like a 15 year old, like sophomore in high school type of an asshole. I I'm seeing some of that in Jodio right now. Fucking Rohan Kishebe. Dude, I'm getting worse and worse. Like, I thought it'd get better. Like, I, I just guess and figure it out. But, um, 
I'm getting worse. <laughs> I'm getting worse at pronouncing this fucking name. I don't know. It's kind of impressive, honestly. I feel like it's like a fucking centimeter cutoff. Like, oh, up top or at the bottom, depending on what I do. It's just million dollars diamond dragona. Nobody can steal that fucking uh, that diamond, dude. Is he gonna reveal that he knows about every gel star in the world? You know when I drew the car, I'm only leaving it here, care I'm not giving it to you. We'll meet again, I'm sure of it. I'll make sure to ever send my report to the police. Be careful to complain home. But one last thing is she will last thing, but not speak a word about you know about what you know about this law rock to anyone. Understand this keep it yourself. Can you trust these comrades of yours? I wouldn't follow in your place. You know, let it come filthy rich. Such a mechanism will gradually become yours. A law of nature lies in a law of a rock. It feels very rocky. Uh, like, it feels like it's going to be another situation where these rocks matter in the grand scheme of things. It may not be the exact same rock as the Rokakaka. But, or it may not be related to rocks as the Rokakaka was, but whatever. Don't lose heart, climb higher. Higher? Shout out to Rohan Kishibe, the inspirational, motivational speaker. Uh, ambition was a huge part of Giorno's character as well. Ambition was was massive. I, mean, it's, it's, I think every Joe Star uh, aspires, but I think like ambition was the name of the game for uh, Passione and uh, Giorno specifically. Can you appraise this for me? It's an original picture drawn by him. It was on the shelf, so I never read this manga. Is it worth anything? <laughs> Fucking uh, Heaven's Door. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a cat, bro. I guess because it was the possession of it was released, I guess. Maybe that's why he can't have it now. The cat. The cat chase begins. Hey, the cat chase begins. All right, well, um... I guess for anybody who wanted like some grand like you know I guess understanding of why uh, we have part four damn near part four Rohan pretty similar design part four Rohan um, in this world yeah you won't be getting that but you will be getting fairly decent you know kind of a little mini arc I guess um, you know Joe Joe Jojo has so many like mini mini arcs and this feels like this is a mini arc uh, Maybe it'll extend to larger, still in the diamond type of arc. But um, I think the first volume of this is supposed to come out in the next couple of months. So, for all intents and purposes, this does appear to be the finale of uh, a, l a little section of what will obviously be a pretty massive sprawling story. It's fucking JoJo. So, all in all, I guess if I had to kind of just give a thought about this, uh, let me show you something. If I had to give us a kind of synopsis of this, I feel like this has been a good start. Uh, I thought the first chapter is probably the most entertaining first chapter to any JoJo, maybe. Um, I haven't read every single JoJo. I've watched all of them, but watched or read all of them, but you know. Um, I've liked Jodeo, I've liked Dragona. Uh, I liked the subtle inclusion of Rohan. Like, this is a character everybody knows that's watched JoJo. However, they didn't like make it some big like I'm fucking from part four and you're a Joe Star. I don't think you had any Joe Stars in this universe and blah blah blah. Like he's just somebody. He doesn't. He didn't seem to know of Dragona or Jodeo or Joe Stars before he read uh, their memories. And uh, there's something that is larger than either of these guys that is contained within that rock that we won't find out anytime soon. Uh, Secrecy and suspension, uh, and um, just build up are, are massive components of any good story. And secrets that mean a lot to the Joe star that we won't find about for 80 more chapters. That's a fucking massive part of JoJo. So that's it. I don't have any massive thoughts about this chapter in and of itself. I feel like a pretty good 
uh, kind of spin to the Joe Star Rohan relationship that we've uh, known and, and loved for about a decade or so now. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, uh, we get some more multiversal bullshit. That uh, it's not the same multiversal bullshit that we've gotten from DC or Marvel, but more fun, holistic multiversal bullshit. <laughs>